activity eight, astronaut antics. So this is a final activity um, in this resource. And here we find Cosmic and Jem wanting to become astronauts because they've enjoyed everything that they've done um, and enjoyed going to the moon to see Uncle Astro. So they've now decided that they want to become astronauts. But we've got to see if they can train to become astronauts. So during this activity, the children will undertake some physical exercise um, to see if they could become astronauts too. It'd be really brilliant if you could bring in a guest at this point in, in the session. Um, somebody that the children don't know, potentially somebody that could wear a NASA t-shirt and pretend that they are an astronaut trainer. Um, I've used my local university previously and asked the PE students to come in and pretend to be the astronaut trainer. And they were really willing, particularly those that wanted to go into teaching after they finished their degree. Um, if not, you could dress up if you wanted to, or, or you could just go with the flow and um, as, it, as things are usually. So again, you could split your class into three different groups and, and rotate around the activities, or, or you could do them in sequence. It's entirely up to you. So activity A is a walk, run, walk for seven minutes. Now prior to doing this, obviously it's really important that the children are warmed up. Um, but what we're gonna think about during this activity is how the children feel. So before they start their walk, run, walk, get them to feel their heads, do they feel warm? Are they out of breath or are they breathing comfortably? How are they feeling at that moment in time? Obviously we want this to be a really inclusive activity and so you need to tweak this dependent on the students that you have in front of you. Um, so you can determine how long the children will run for, how long they walk for, and so on. But after about seven minutes of exercise, then I would stop the students and I'd ask them to think about their breath again. Are they breathing faster or slower? Why do they think that is? Can they feel their heads? Do they feel warmer or cooler? Just get them to think about how they are feeling in that moment. You could also discuss how they might be able to run for longer. And you can think about why this is important for astronauts that go to space. So activity B, you do need to set the course out in advance. So you will need access to some cones or some sort of objects that the children can, can run around. And the, the course is quite complicated and so it's really important that the children feel comfortable and know where they should be going. So to do this, I found walking the course with them an essential aspect. So if you walk around the cones with them and guide them through where they should be going, once they are comfortable, then you can challenge them to see who can go around the cones in the fastest time. They can either do this as individuals or in groups. It's entirely up to you. Use your stopwatch or use your phone and you can have a, a board with times if you think that that is appropriate. Again, after you have finished this activity, you can talk to the children about how they feel. Are they out of breath? Are they warmer? And what they would need to do to become fitter. Okay, almost there at the end. So the last activity is helping the children to learn to count to 10 in Russian. So Russian is the language that is used in space. But please do not worry, you do not have to be able to speak Russian yourself because there is a YouTube video to help you to do this. So at this point, once you've done that, all of the children have trained to be an astronaut. And this is something that you can think about for their future. Do they want to become astronauts? Or maybe they want to train astronauts in the future themselves.